Hi everyone, it's Versha from Knowing Lots. I'm gonna to talk to you today about the mini Evelyn. I'm gonna get your opinion on some stuff, show you some things that I did wrong that really messed up the bag, and also kind of tell you what fits and the wear and tear thus far. It's kind of new, but I've been wearing it everywhere and quite roughly into a lot of places because it's really, it, it's got some pros and cons. So we'll talk about it. And, um, I, you know, I'd love to get your opinions if you have this or if you're thinking about it. Let me know what you think about the points that I'm making about it. And, yeah, let's get into it. If you are interested in this bag and you're, like, waiting for an offer or things like that, I have some comments about that as well. I typically like to talk about luxury from the perspective of, like, not really trying to be an influencer, not really trying to make a point with like how I buy or like relationships with SAs and all that. Like, I guess sometimes that's kind of there because you're a luxury shopper, but there's definitely no angle when it comes to how I shop for luxury. It truly is about finding something that I can be passionate about and then going to get it because I like the way it looks, I like the way it feels or smells or whatever. And so, yeah, let's so let's talk about this. So this is the mini Evelyn. That is how it was described to me. That's what I, you know, I, I think there's some people that ha, it has like TPS or something like that in its formal name. You can see that there's some white shining through, but it's because I have some papers in it um, from like before, like looks like somebody's business card. And so, you know, that's why this shines through because it has the holes in it. These are known as like writing bags they it originally was quite bigger i think they made this to kind of jump on the trend of people wanting some smaller bags this is the technically the front of the bag it has a little clasp here which i have never needed to use i usually keep it open and wear it this way quite frankly um you can see that it has these creases here and i'll tell you why it's because i bought this i bought this insert from Zumani, I think is the name of the brand. It was, honestly, I think I got the name from an influencer who was saying that they're very similar to the 7RP, which some other Hermes people have been into, but when you put it in and you overstuff your bag, it creates an indentation here. So I don't know if I'm gonna keep it because I actually really like, okay, that's actually a clean mask, but I'll take that out. I like the compartmentalization of a small bag. When it comes to big bags, I don't really like compartments, but small bags, it's nice. Because what I end up doing is I'll put my phone here. And what I did was I took my pop socket out. And uh, what I do is like, I'll put the phone between this in here. So it's always easy to grab. It's never getting mushed up with other things that are making it hard to grab. And then I always have like this key holder, which is kind of acting like my wallet these days because it holds enough of the cards that I use my license and all that. So that comfortably fits. And then I brought a couple of other things to show you what fits in it. Uh, because in most bags, I kind of take this thing, which you've probably seen in other videos, and I stick it right in my purse, but it's too big for this. And so what will fit the Hermes um, lip balm? Because I always need some sort of a lip balm or lipstick or chapstick or something in my bags. And then we've got to have the hand sani. And we have to sometimes have my car keys, which I don't have. So I'm just gonna pretend that they're about this big. I don't have them here, but so we'll just stick like double that. Um, and then, you know, hand lotion is a must if I'm gonna wash my hands all the time and some pills for my migraines. You know, so it's pretty full, but I personally think this is perfect. I use this bag almost every day when I'm going for a walk, like around my neighborhood. And the only catch is that this is the strap that comes with this and it's cheap AF, okay? It's just not, it's good quality, but it's cheap. It's like this fabric thing. And so what I'm guessing is that I'm gonna wear it down and then when I'm done with it, I'm going to get a new one, right? Like just wear it. And so here's the thing. I bought the white one because I liked the way it looked with the perforation. Like it's cool, it shows through, like yay brand, yay logo, I love that stuff, but it's making this dent. So I'd love to get your opinion on 
whether you think I should just take this piece out and prevent any further damage. And tell me if you know of any inserts that are better that like maybe come all the way up to here, but I just feel like unless it's exactly the shape, it's gonna leave a dent. So I will do some research on like some better ones, but already the dent kind of goes away as soon as you take that out. So I don't know how permanent it's gonna be. This is like a, you know, someone who's an expert at Hermes leather can actually maybe tell me what this is. It's super grainy. I think it's goat. You know, you would think that because I'm a huge fan, I would know, but like these are too much. Like, and now I just wanna like use it, right? So definitely if I don't put the insert, there's so much more room. That is for sure. I, I mean, it's a black bag, so you can't see that much, but here, I'll put that white in there. There's a lot of room if you don't put the insert. And that's always been my, my thing about inserts is like, it just takes up so much room, even if it is light. So I don't use it in a lot of my other bags. A lot of times I will buy it and use it for just like keeping the shape of the bag. But with this, you don't really need that. And I, I feel it so much that it's going to have bumps. It's going to have creases. Like it seems like a very durable leather and it's stitched everywhere. So the only, you know, it's not lined, which I know some people don't like, but it ha helps it keep the weight down, you know, which I think is really good. I would recommend this. I would say that if you are a, the type of person who can run around with bare essentials, wallet, keys, car keys, um, because I don't always take my car, I keep them separate. If you can keep a minimal amount of things in your bag and you're, you regularly run out for an errand or want to be a little more discreet and casual and want to have something you can go like this with so people can't tell what it is, I think this is the bag for you. Now, let me show you how it looks on me. I'm 5'6 and I'm a size 14 US and ooh, this is where it lands, which I think is absolutely perfect. I think some people might think this is too low. This is about how I think a Chanel wallet on chain lands about here as well. I think it's perfect for like a little boho look. I think it's perfect for um, leggings, you know, at the gym look, walking dog look. Not that I have a dog, but I see everyone wear these who has dogs, like my neighbors. Um, and so it is a perfect bag if you are looking to get a small bag. At first I was like, oh no, it's too small. But then as I started using it, I was like, oh, that's all I need. Like, this is perfect. Uh, I think it can also be day to night. So I got the silver hardware. I think at the end of the day, I should have gotten gold. But I do see myself adding a chain strap to this, like a silver chain strap, just to like dress it up if I needed to have something like that. And because I travel a lot, I think that could be really useful. I'm trying to think what else you would need to know. If you have comments or questions about it, please let me know. Oh, how much I spent to get this. So some people consider this to be like hard to get. I had no idea. Uh, I had never been offered a bag before. There was one sitting on a shelf once that I was considering that was like an Evelyn 32, which I don't even think they make anymore. And he was like, the sales associate was like, oh, do you want this one? It was in a tube. And I was like, oh, I wanted a tube bag. I'm so glad I didn't get that because I would not have used a bigger version of such a floppy, big, sort of like, it's, this is not big, but like floppy, kind of like no daintiness kind of bag. It's very masculine of a bag. Um, if we're going to go with that kind of terminology and it's also just kind of frumpy when it's bigger. So this is really the perfect size for me. I think anything larger without a zip is also just like major potential for someone like myself to just have everything fall out. So that's the other reason I think the mini one is where it's at. The other thing is, um, okay, so what did I buy? So I walked into the New York boutique in Greenwich, which I got the best customer service there, just walk in, uh, walk in only, or I think I made the online appointment there. Got a random sales associate who was really, really sweet. And I did have a few things that I was looking for of which I think they only had like one thing. And that's when I also ordered some pillows. I ordered, um, something else that came in the mail. I think pillows and like maybe a scarf and then a scarf ring. And then I wanted to buy some jewelry, but they didn't have my size. And so I think she felt a little bad for me. She could see my sales history in the system 
from another store in a different city. And I think she was pretty shocked that I hadn't been offered a bag. So out of pity, she kept looking. She went back twice. So my guess is that her opinion of me might have shifted mid midway. I don't know. I mean, I was like drooling over a Berenia bag that I was seeing getting offered like two steps away from me. And uh, I kept looking over, looking over. And, you know, then there was like friendly conversation happening with me as well. It was really, really sweet. And everyone in that store loves each other, which I think is also really great because you don't want to go when it's all stuffy. Like those days are over. No one wants to be among snobs anymore, you know? So it was wonderful. And so finally she went back and she's like, I got to have black and silver and chai. And I was like, I can't decide. Chai seems really, you know, interesting, but I don't know which one I want. I deliberated, I called my husband, like help me decide. And cause he has good taste, but he wasn't with me. And um, at the end of the day, I went with black and I'm kind of glad that I did now because I wear this so roughly like with jeans and casual outfits that the chai would have gotten stains on it. It would have had color transfer. And even if I had protected it, it just wouldn't have been right. And she was like, I think more people would have gone for the chai. The sales associate said that just because it's a seasonal color. It's a little bit harder to come by. It was a really sweet offer. I just knew that I would use this more and I have because the only other thing that I have like this is the, um, you know, I have a top handle Chanel black and silver. I have a larger Louis Vuitton black and silver. And then I have the Balenciaga graffiti bag. And so all of those kind of fit the black silver, black casual or can go casual dressy. So, and then I also have like a Lady Dior that's a little dressier. So this was like the only thing besides the Balenciaga bag that I could think of that is kind of a casual black that's small. And I like to categorize my bags and I should actually have a video on that, like how I categorize my bags to keep track of like what I have, what I still need, what I still want. And so this will replace that Balenciaga graffiti for when I just need something casual to wear and don't wanna take a Chanel black. Um, or don't want to take like a larger Louis Vuitton Mahina medium sized bag. So maybe it's not logical to you, but it's very logical to me. So this video is getting longer than it needs to be. So um, yeah, this is definitely a highly recommended bag. It's a great price point for Hermes. Uh, I think it's a great starter bag, unfortunately. You know, I really have my dream bag as a Rouge Kelly 28. Um, or Kelly 28 Toop, you know, if I could get those two, I, it would be amazing. Um, but no luck. And so, ooh, and a Birkin in like blue at crew. I just learned that one recently. Anyways, excited about that. So, so here we go. Um, see if you can find one. I do recommend it. I recommend it in black or some other dark neutral. And I... Would love to answer any other questions you might have about this. If you've made it this far, please subscribe if you haven't already. Likely that you have if you've made it this far <laughs> based on the YouTube um, algorithms that, and analytics and all the stuff that I'm learning about it. But like I said, this is my hobby. This is what I want this channel to be is just like a place for like people who like use this stuff all the time and are interested in all this stuff to just come and learn and talk and share and create a community about these things. And uh, yeah, I love getting comments. I love hearing what you have to say. So definitely give me your opinions. Let me know what you wanna see more or less of. I do owe some people some videos that have made some recommendations and requests and I will get to them. I just haven't yet, so I apologize. But thanks for watching.